morning from a uh, wow, beautiful, beautiful meadow lake. Wrong, if you like. See, that'll teach me too many, uh, too many times on the uh, on meadow lake. No, I'm back out. It's Wednesday morning, and uh, I'm back out um, in the island in the distance, right in front of the other. Swim, I was fishing yesterday. Well, I saw a fish showing around. I have uh, well, gone for it really. Gonna fish, gonna fish here. Currently, the stuff is sort of piled up over there. Um, so I'm gonna sit down and get the brew, get out, uh, work out. It's best to set up the brolly realistically. It's, it's, you've got to really step into the cast. So, uh, yeah, I can't uh, have the brolly too close, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but yeah, I might just sort of set it up over. I'll check the weather forecast exactly later, see what it's doing. But uh, certainly it does look gorgeous out there today. And I must admit, I certainly do need a brew. So we're going to get the bed chair out, rather than just on the ground sheet and just set it up and have a play with what we've got to do. Relax a little bit, tidy up, and uh, yeah, I'll try and catch a fish. Haven't we really? I'll try and catch a fish. Radio. Wow. Well, all set up. Well, no, I'm not all set up. That would be wrong in saying I'm all set up. Um, I've got the bed chair out, I've got the ground sheet out, uh, I've got the brew kit done, sorted, no bivvy. Um, a little bit of sunshine today, so I might as well sit out here for a little bit. Um, what is unbelievable, I sat for two days looking at this bit of water in front of me and saw nothing in open water. Since I've been here, I've seen four fish in open water. I'm fishing tight to the island. I had a bit of a bottom knock on the right hand rod. Um, so it's a, I would say positive sign, but it is a positive time. Um, I don't know if it's more about the. Um, there's a bar out there that sort of goes from uh, slightly different depths at the moment and everything, etc. etc. Uh, it's about sort of three foot from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm over that, whether it's the fish going along that. Um, this side of the island, of course, would be the, the, the sort of little liners. Um, I don't know, but um, yeah, it's, it's ironic, isn't it? Sat there for two days watching, watching and watching, and any fish I saw was tied to the island. I come down here, whack them out, tied to the island, and uh, hey, bingo, they're in open water. But, ah! Fishing for you, isn't it, really? Absolutely fishing for you. But, yeah, so, uh, so, relatively okay, quite happy, really. Well, I haven't got a, got a hat or anything, isn't it, at the moment, but we shall see. Got my shiny head look at the moment today. Hat's around the corner on the barrow, and I'm just sort of chilling now. Well, uh, relax a little bit. A little bit of a bite to eat in a minute. Uh, sit there staring at the water, thinking it's ironic, isn't it? That, uh, yeah, what I've seen is uh, in the areas I would have sort of liked to have seen it before. What I don't near, it need to hear is just to the left of me through there is um, the swim of fish last week, and I was casting across that little small bay where you bait it up from just through the trees there. Um, what I don't need to hear is fish crashing in there over the, the base put out, which would be, be ironic, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's just what it would be. Um, but I must admit, regardless of where the fish are showing, they are a lot more active than they were the last few times I fished. Well, I, when you get Friday morning, when the day, the day opened. I expected them to be extremely active since then they've sort of uh, you know quietened down and slowed it down realistically 
Uh, I've just got to sit here, relax a little bit, and chill out and work out you know, where it's best to um, place my baits um, for tonight. Um, all I can do realistically, and uh, take it, take a thing from there. Yeah, and you like it when you come fishing and you've sort of moved around, done stuff, stuff, stuff here, there, and everywhere. You think, uh, where are my car keys? Are oh, they in my pocket? A couple of times I've had to uh, rummage and uh, find them, <sighs> which is always quite entertaining. So um, we'll make up some new rigs today. Change those over. I think I want slightly stiffer, stiffer hook links on here. Um, might just sort of stick to plan A the first night. Just leaving them on the corner of those islands. And I've bought a couple of small spawns, so I should be able to get some bait out there. But to be honest with you, um, this time of the year. Single hook baits is just as good a method as uh, any fishing over sort of bed to bait. Um, I must put some bait out realistically when I leave anyway to try and uh, get everything going and up and running. Uh, nice to hear the old Canadian geese walking around. Let's check where my microphone is. I my microphone was as well. God there. Uh, I have to go across a wooden bridge. You have to approach the wooden bridge from a sort of an angle. And straighten up your barrow at the last minute and then go across the bridge. And um, yeah, there's about four foot water on either side, so um, it would be a complete and utter disaster if the um, barrel went in. Um, yeah, I think obviously the electrics on the barrel to get shot and my battery packs and things. Well, to be honest with you, I, I carried my bag across that's got me um, expensive. Uh, it's not a battery pack, it's a power station I use. Um, that across. So yeah, I'm not that uh, not that crazy. But there we go. Anyway, I'm going to sit and relax and carry on watching the lakes. I think my wife's due to call me in a little while on her way to work. Uh, should always be ready for that, shouldn't you? Hey. That's absolutely gorgeous out here at the moment. The birds are Absolutely loving it. Really is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Flat calm. Quite a few fish showing, which is weirdly problematic because I've absolutely no idea um, what to do at the moment. The rods are been out by the corner of the island for several hours now. I'm not going to touch them until a little bit later. That's sort of what I decided I was going to do. Um, but I have seen fish in between a couple of normal spots that I've fished in the past before. I've never really fished this absolute great deal, this uh, area. I wish I did a little bit more on it really. Be nice. I don't know, but I've just, as you can see, the oh, debris here all pitched up. Brook it on, binoculars out. I don't know. A couple of things to eat. Yeah, it is. Oh. Unbelievable. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's all work out. Where best to go and what to do with the rods, which is slightly problematic. Um, I feel I've got to put one midway between here and the island, and I've got to put one on the corner of the island. Um, the obvious choice would be the right hand rod on the right hand spot, and the left hand rod leaving the left hand spot. Is at the moment, I'm sort of feeling a bit right hand end of the right side of the island, and uh, you know, I call it sort of like the house spot over there because you sort of more or less aim at a house 
and uh, yeah. Mm. Just gonna have to think. Anyway, I've been watching the swan this morning, charging around trying to chase the Canadian geese off. The amount of energy it must expel to do that. It's just unbelievable, really. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. But uh, we're gonna keep as I said, I'm not doing anything until sort of between one and two ish. I sort of like make my mind up exactly what I'm gonna do. And, you know, where to where to put a where to put a little bit of bait out somewhere. And uh, see. You know, the swires in the day has just got a total mission on getting rid of that Canadian goose at the moment. It's got an absolute mission on at the moment. Did two laps of the lake a minute ago. Now oh, Canadian must be worn out. Yeah, it's Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got to catch. Really have got to catch this trip. I put a lot of, lot of thought into this one. Do have to catch. Alright. Fingers crossed, eh? But it is a stunning day out there. Absolutely stunning day. Alright. Good afternoon. What I've decided to do is these fish just generally puh, here, there, and everywhere. So I've got to stick with the corner of the island and the sort of transit route, bit of an area they might, may or may not visit several times rather than just random spots they seem sort of showing on. Um, I'll spend the rest of this evening and tomorrow morning sort of watching and trying to work out if they show in a certain spot and uh, haven't caught anything by then uh, fill that in with boilies and uh, particles and um, well depending on wh whereabouts it is in my swim stick two rods on it or stick one rod on it just literally just take it from there realistically um, they're everywhere they're even they're in the margins over there with areas I haven't seen the top for a long time I haven't had them to my right, which I probably will do later on tonight because that's not normally what happens. It's a lovely little spot here to the right. Um, little spot out there that I flicked a um, spawn on because I like to sort of um, get rid of me um, clips. That's the one I'm after. But the frying here is absolutely incredible. It's unbelievable. You know, it's just, yeah, they're just on a munch. The fry are just just out there, and then along with that, you get the, you know, whatever. More, well, I think they're more perchy than pikey. Don't know really. Could be small pike. Don't know. You sort of getting them out and about, striking here, there, and everywhere. So, I'll well, just have to see really. But that is my plan. That's what I'm gonna do. Twenty four hours on one tactic, and then if all else fails, twenty four hours on another tactic. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll have some fish. Because when I go home on Friday morning, it's you know, a tooth operation day, and um, yeah, could be um, could be that could be could be me for a while. That's just fun. I've seen a grieve come up, literally right underneath a tufted duck. <laughs> it's never seen anything move so fast. I thought it was a Couple of times. But it's looking pretty um pretty moody out there, but I don't think so. I think it's gonna I think it's fine and not gonna rain or anything like that, so should be okay realistically. Um I've just gotta yeah, just find myself uh, possibly a couple of spots, put some baits on them and see. But that is well that is that afternoon update. Might do another one before the sun sets, so I might just sit back and relax and um well, let the good times roll, really, and just soak it up, really. I'd say it feels like spring today, but it is actually spring today. It's actually the first day of spring today, officially, as opposed to, I count most of March as spring, but there we go. Right, I have uh, set the busy up, got everything all ready. Unhook a map, mm -hmm. light equipment, GoPro, just, yeah, spawned out stuff.
all's looking good in here. Where's my tidy for me at the moment? I do, I do like it tidy, but I am a bit of a bit of a man of a, a sort of my setup. It's a bomb's gone off, really terrible. Oh, there we go. Right, let's uh, crack on then. Well, good morning. Bit of a late get out this morning due to the um, misty, foggy morning that we had over here. Um, I'm now having a sort of little debate about, um, well, there comes my favourite, uh, the favourite goings on, the swan chasing the uh, Canadian around. It's been doing that, I don't know, it's been doing it all night to be perfectly honest with you. Stupid thing. That amount of energy it's expelling just to get rid of two Canadian geese out of this much water is uh, ridiculous really. But there we go. That's what, uh, you know, that's what his job is and that's what he gets up and doing. But yeah, I'm sort of really humming and hawing about reading one of them rods in and um, putting a bag on it and, and stick it in a, in a spot or even sit with single hook baiting it into a, a spot where I sort of see signs of fish. Um, big issue I've got is, um, yeah, which ones you do, right or left? Tricky one. They both have their merits to stay out there, and they both have a little bit of a. Well, I don't see. They have their merits to stay out there, really. Um, I don't know. What I might do is wait till 10 o'clock and then just pick on one. And, uh, and, and go for it realistically. Put a bag on and bang it out there. Um, yeah, and uh, take it from there, really. I've definitely got to have to, I think I'm going to have to move. And you know, I'm going to have to check the weather conditions if it's going to be clear skies and things again tonight. It's, it's just pointless, um, pointless having. And that, and that sort of water really. Uh, it might have to be pointless fishing the night to be perfectly honest with you. I've got to be gone at a sensible time tomorrow. I've got the tooth operation so I've got to really contemplate contemplate that prospect to be perfectly honest with you because if it's going to be clear skies tonight I have no confidence in clear skies on here. Starry nights on here just don't seem to work. Cloudy nights are absolutely brilliant. But starry nights, not at all, so it could be worth um, hanging it out until sort of uh, five-ish and then packing up and going home. So uh, I've got to put some, put some thought into this, realistically. I do want to catch a fish, um, but staying here tonight when the clear skies and the moon's out again, and then just getting up tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, packing up and going home. Ooh, pointless time, I think. don't know. But as I said, I've got to put some thought into it for it today. Um, the appointment's until, not until the afternoon, but you know, I've got to unload the car. I want to get some um, scram in me. Um, because, <laughs> yeah, I can't see me eating tea tomorrow night. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so... I need a bit of a uh, bit more food in me to get me the last. Don't know, we'll see really. Gotta eat, probably just eat the next day sometime. I'm sure I'll be alright. Ah, so my thinking cap's gonna now get on put on and I'm gonna have to just sit here mulling this one over. Um, I've got to wait for the forecast to sort of update itself, so who knows what the weather's actually gonna do anyway. So never can tell realistically, can you? You know, one of them fish is rattle off the corner of the other side of the island at the moment. I've seen two fish so far now this morning. Um, I think I sort of looked out the window this morning and thought, oh, no, thank you. Rolled over and went back to bed and didn't get up until quarter to nine, so it's gone nine o'clock now. The fish have started showing because it's, it's all, it all seems to be gone nine o'clock when I make an appearance. Um, I've seen one sort of close into my right and seen one sort of way, way out, and possibly something. Um, Transit in front of me. Don't know. There we go. Right. I'm holding it with my hand. Obviously, you can tell by the wobbly, wibbly bit. Um, I even got my proper gimbal out. I oh, should use it really. 
a bit lazy when it comes to these things sometimes. What should I say? Right. Let's uh, just have a good old think about what to do, how we can tackle this and approach this. Right then. I have done some adjusting, I shall show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, I've, the wind's now really pushing into my face and um, I've got to that point in my life where trying to spawn 27 wraps is uh, too much hard work. It took it out of me yesterday trying to get the baits out there. Um, obviously no joy. Um, I saw a fish very close to the left hand rod this morning which is a little bit less distance and a little bit easier to get to. Um, the downside of that between me and there's a huge weed bed so I'm going over the weed bed and yeah no, not sure how problematic it will be to, to get fish in. I sort of came to the conclusion that the first fish out of here I didn't really want to be um, overly problematic <laughs> it'd be nice just to get it get it in get it in that net get get one of them in belt for the uh, airfield late this year and uh, see so i've got um some fish in the margins one's about i can't what it was now 11 and a half wraps and the other one's eight wraps i call margins about three foot from the bank less than that to be fair um so i've just sort of got them splayed Right and left, basically. Um, my swim has found a couple of nice areas around some, you know. Um, well, I've had a bit of a chunky weed bed between me and it, so it's not, not too bad. So I'm fishing a channel. I just hope they travel between one side of it and not the other side of it. Because if they travel this side of it, I won't even, won't even register anything at all. So we just have to see. I've left my line sort of reasonably tight. So uh, hopefully might pick up some liners, and if I pick up liners and no fish, I can only assume that the next time I sort of fancy getting over here, I need to be this side, this side of it. And the other rods off to the right, I've fished before. And just, just yeah, same sort of thing really, with a bit of marking on both rods, just to double check the spots. And uh, yeah, sort of spawned out what particles I've got left, and then uh, a few or 12 more smoky jack boilies over the top. And uh, just hopefully the last night will, will produce something. I'll check the forecast. Um, it's going to go clear until about 11 o'clock, and then it's going to start cloud coming over. It'd be nice if the cloud came over earlier, because then I might be out there. Well, I need to be off tomorrow, so I really need to be off, regardless of what the weather is. And it's it's a bit of a bit of a pain getting out of here across the bridge and uh, backwards and backwards and forth. To be perfectly honest with you, so I'll. Uh, I might shut the GoPro and video it for you some particular time in the future. Uh, yeah, I think, well, you see me walk across the bridge anyway. With my sort of footage when I've come here, but trying to get a barrow across it, you've got a sort of a slope either side. And uh, the last thing you want to do is dump your kit in the in the drink. Wouldn't go well with an electric barrow, would it? Um, I'm not even sure if I'd actually be able to lift the barrow out, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, it doesn't even bear thinking about, so we'll stop that thought process. Um, the fish have been not as active as they were yesterday. The sun has now sort of come out. You know, I'm sitting here now in a t-shirt and everything. It's pretty nice, but it's only been here for about sort of an hour and a half. Whereas yesterday morning, it was sort of more here from the get-go. So we can take that from we wish, really. Might help me... Um, produce fish this evening. I don't know. That's why I've sort of got everything all done and dusted by two o'clock and uh, you know hopefully get a sort of late afternoon early evening fish which you know, has produced me fish in the past before so um, that's all we can hope for realistically but uh, let me spin you around and I'll show you late. Let's just turn that. Are you ready? There we go. So you can see me rods are, rods are now in the pod. I actually sort of went back and Got me, got me pod from the uh, from the car. Went out to visit the uh, know, the, the box. Got me a thing from the car, and uh, yeah, so I've sort of adjusted that now. I've got them a little bit lower in the water. Don't need them up high. I'm having them up high to avoid the sort of weed beds and bars and things. 
you get between me and uh, me and there. So I think I sort of concluded that um, the right hand side is the better side, but further out than where I want to fish. Really, what I had thought about is it was very nice. Much I don't particularly fan of them. Um, a bait boat club, the over sixties or something. Not the over sixties, but boy, I'm close. Um, as it says on the box, bait boat. Not take your lines out. Not do anything like that. It's literally purely to go and dump your bait out because that would just stop your spawning, and you just whiz out with the bait boat, dump it all, come back. You can't marker it. You can't cast it. You can't fish it. It's just purely putting the putting bait in, nothing else, that's what I want it for, so you know, you can't get any stupid idiots disappearing across the lake going around corners because their rigs won't be in the bait boat. It's a, uh, you know, non-rig bait boat, just for bait. So all you want it for on here, that's make my life so much easier. Especially at my age, he even, even thinks that's a good idea as well. It just becomes harder and harder. On a big lake like this, it's, sometimes it's advantageous to be able to get your baits out further. Um, so trying to cast uh, 27 wraps is not really an issue at all, but you know, trying to spot a kilo of boilies out that distance, yeah, it uh, doesn't do you any good, kills you really, but hey, there we go. Right, I'm going to leave you that picturesque view, because I am going to put the coffee pot on, and um, yeah, soak it all up, and enjoy. Right, it's about... I don't know really, half six now, Thursday, nice bit of cloud cover, nice breeze, conditions look absolutely awesome, I haven't seen a herd of fish for a, a couple of hours now, I don't quite know where they've drifted off to, disappeared off to, um, I, don't, I did have a couple of liners at one particular point, not long, about an hour and a bit after I'd um, Recast and adjusted everything, but uh, wow, oh, it's all gone quiet, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, very, 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 very strange. I don't know where they've all gone, really. I thought, you know, it's been sunny and warm this afternoon, broken cloud, good breeze. I just really thought they'll be, they'd be out and about on the lunch. Um, yeah, what can we say, they are definitely, most definitely eluding me at the moment, um, yeah, not long left really, um, we just have to see, my plan is to, sort of, well, I don't know, I've got to wake up tomorrow morning and see roughly what time the, um, Rain's coming in. See Roland hopping around on the right of the screen there. You know, I was catapulting some boilers out earlier, so he's quite happy. There's a few of them spilt down there. I just leave them down there. I just let them. Oh, my little uh, sensor light comes on now as well. He'll be happy about that. <laughs> I'll have to readjust that later. I'll have it shining so I can, when I run down to the rods, my, um, I see my little um, butt grips and things a lot easier, and it lights up sort of. So clear the path a little bit easier as well, um, or if I've got to sort of step down in the water or something, I have it, a good bit of kit to be perfectly honest with you, um, sell them on eBay, that's to be honest, um, I sort of found a um, brand of uh, sensor lights that I can um, adapts to um, fit on bank sticks, so I just sort of uh, convert them and um, sell them on eBay really. If you search sensor lights on, or ocean sensor lights I think it is, on eBay if you fancy one. Yeah, I always have a couple in stock. And, uh, yeah, I, I like them, you know, the older I get, I think I like them really. It's slightly easier to see where you're going, what you're doing. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow morning I've just been tidying stuff up to be fair, so I'll pack everything away sort of quite quickly. 
tomorrow morning and get out because if I wake up and I'll have to set the alarm probably. Set the alarm, find out the little brain's coming in quick. I'm going to have to be gone as soon as possible. But if the rain is coming in sort of a little bit later, I can then um, give it a little bit later to hang it, hang it out really. But it'd be nice to pack up loosely in the dry. You just have to wait and see really. There we go. But uh, I'm sort of going to try and target a uh, just one night next week or one day and uh, see where we go really. See Roland just at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> anyway, it's good to feed the wildlife. He's quite happy. We've been starving all winter. Now he's uh, now he's got a lot of food. He's just sort of come from behind me really, so I might. Uh, uh, get a uh, another handful of boilers and lob them behind me um, in the bushes. I'll keep him keep him out of the way of the swim for a bit. Uh, yeah, it's good. Grieve going past there. Mm -hmm. It's a day to be perfect as we Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, he's, he's coming back now. Well, you probably can't see him now. He's just at the back of my rods. My light will come on any moment. Oh, there you go. Light's on. Bless him. No, he's quite happy anyway. I the fact that the light will be going on and off until he's cleaned up everything out there, so might regret that later. Batteries last quite a long time, but uh, um, that's with it only going on and off when I need it, as opposed to <laughs> on and off. I don't know whether that was on camera, but he just leapt straight in the air then. That was absolutely hilarious. You don't like the light, then adjust it camera because um you'll probably um probably spot it really Let's see if I can just hang it down just a little bit there we go you'll be you'll be back in a minute he's obviously taking things back to his little uh, his little home and he'll come back and uh, have another go right, we'll see if he comes back in a minute oh, there we go he's back yeah, if he sets the sensor light off, he's all right, jumps the vertical. Oh, yeah, he's collecting them well. He can't be far away. Works out where his little layer is now. I'll go and chuck a couple of handfuls of 12 mils in there. I think he's uh, going to be happy, for, happy forever. There we go. I might upset him in a minute because I want to go outside. Yeah. I don't know where the fish are gone. They're all quiet. Oh dear. Oh well. We can only but try. Just enjoy the uh, enjoy the evening for what it is. Just you know, watch for watch for showing fish. Rather than collecting boilies. He's happy. Thank you, yeah. Just lovely storing, honey. He? Uh, he might keep away all night. Don't know, really. That's how he even have little ones, I suppose. Don't know. No one. Right. I shall um, hopefully do an update before I get out of here tomorrow morning. It does all depend on uh, weather, rain, etc., etc. Um, whether I sort of uh, manage to manage to do it or not. Have to, have to see. I don't know. I don't know if it will. Uh, I'll have enough time tomorrow morning. After the weather changes, that's what it does. And uh, yeah, we shall see. Right. Catch up with you in a bit. Hopefully, the fish will be good, wouldn't it? Get a fish tonight. I'm quite oh, unbelievably confident it's going to go tonight. Really am. Really, how I feel I've just, just done it all right, done it all perfectly. Just gonna, gonna rattle off. We shall see. Ah, oh, good morning. Um, it's ten past six in the morning. I just got up. Um, 
to check the forecast um, about I'll be an hour and a little bit before the rain, which is good. I can sort of, I've got time to pack up now onwards. Um, not going to rush. I don't have to sort of I still need to get on with it, get it all packed down, and be done, and gone home. Uh, unfortunately, those uh, well, the rods completely utterly remain uh, stationary. Absolutely unbelievable, already. Can't believe it. Amazing, really. But there we go. It's this is what it is. Um, yeah. Let me say, really. We came, we tried, and uh, we just, just don't know. It's not getting it all together, are we, at the moment? It's a bit of a shame. But, yeah, I'm doing it from the bivvy, so that's why you see the roof bit there. The bivvy door. So I've got the stove on just to sort of try and just to, uh, dry the inside of the little bivvy out. Um, so it's going to get packed away. And if it's raining today, I can't really dry it out. So I'm going to get a little bit of damp out the roof. It's touching it at the moment, so it's near. Uh, and pack it away, really. Um, hopefully it will come back out next week. But who knows? We shall see. Hopefully the end of the tooth saga will be uh, imminent as well. Which will be very nice as well. Um, yeah. I said on that matter at the moment. But yeah, it will be nice to uh, get it all done and sorted. Um... The best part of, well, maybe the best part of three and a half months, really, nearly four. But there we go. Oh dear, a few pounds spent. But anyway, that's back to the fishing. Yeah, I don't know, I have no idea if Ian's caught anything. I haven't had a WhatsApp from him sort of with any fish, so I'm assuming he's a uh, similar night to me, really. He's, he's on tonight, so you never know. He might to produce something out of the bag tonight, tomorrow. Be good, will be good, and uh, yeah, I'll be back down soon. All right, very much doubt I'll do another video between now and when I leave. To be perfectly honest with you, I want to concentrate on getting everything out of here packed away. I've got to get it all back and forth and across the bridge. It's all a little bit sort of uh, handbally, really. Um, so, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, I hope your fortunes are uh, at the mine at the moment. We expect them here, unfortunately. And um, yeah, I shall see you soon. Be lucky wherever you may be.